गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स द प्रीवियस डे वी स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर आवर ब्यूटीफुल कंट्री एट दैट डे वी कंप्लीटेड द प्लेटू द डेजर्ट एंड द माउंटेन सो टू डे वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द रिवर्स एंड प्लेन्स सो लेट स्टार्ट एज वी आर ग्रेजुअली मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द गंगो थ्री द टेरा इन बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट द रोड आयर स्टीप एंड वाइंडिंग एंड इट स्टार्टेड रेनिंग we reach the gangotri glacier which is the source of the river ganga so what is gangotri uh, gangotri gangotri is a glacier and it is the source of ganga river and glaciers are mostly found in the high mountain regions the upper part of the glacier was frozen but it was summer time some parts of the glacier had melted i was amazed to see the pristine and the clear water the upper course where the ganga organizes its flow fluid at the great speed and rushed down to the mountain so when they reach the glacier they were uh, she or he was amazed that the water was very clean and the upper course where ganga originates the speed of the water is very high the when the river flows in the mountain region it flows in a great intensity because in the mountain region the slopes are very steep when the st uh, slope will be very steep the speed of the water of the river will be high as it flows down and join the plains in the middle course a number of rivers join the ganga the volume of the water increased and it slowed down the developing loop called meanders it is finally its final journey the lower course the river formed ganga brahmaputra delta and slowly meanders towards the bay of bengal margin into the ocean so in the middle course the speed of the water will be less and the ganga Uh, many rivers joined with ganga the volume of water or the amount of water increase but the speed is decreased because of the slope of the middle course of the ganga in middle region is in from the plain region and the plain region the slope is very low so the speed is also low in when the speed of the river is low the river started depositing its materials and that forms the meanders like loops and the volume of the water increased and the slow down the developing of the loops called meander and its final journey the lower course of the river ganga formed ganga brahmaputra delta what is delta delta is a triangular shaped landform and it's to meanders towards the bay of bengal and merging it into the ocean so the confluence of the ganga is bay of bengal the soil deposited on the plain by the rivers is very fertile and rich in minerals it is called alluvial soil the ganga plain is drained by the yamuna ghagra and many other rivers so the ganga plain is drained by means the this rivers also join the ganga like yamuna ghagra and many others and the the rivers that join the main river is also called tributaries it this fertile region is also called the football of india the plain are formed when the rivers deposited they are seeds and soils on the bank since early time people have settled near the banks of this regions where suitable for agriculture so the ganga is also the plain of the ganga is also called the football of india because in the in this plain region near the river bank the the river deposit the soils which are very fertile and very good for agriculture so for in the early period of the human civilization the people settled near the banks where the regions are suitable for agriculture plains are lowland 
which covered thousands of kilometers. They are mostly flat land without much difference in the height. They are normally found in continents and near water bodies like rivers. A lot of people live in the plain opposed to mountains and plateaus. Lots of towns and cities are also located in the plains. This is because of the fertile soil, plenty of the water and proper transport facilities. A lot of civilizations such as the Indus Valley civilization developed in the river banks. It is easier to build road, airport, train lines and channels in the plains. One can see the large industries such as iron and steel in the plain. After an enriching two months of travel, our journey finally ends. We have already planned our next trip tour would be heading to the southern part of the India. So, the plains are use, very useful because it has a fertile land to agriculture and it is easier to settle down in the plain region and make buildings or roads. So, transportation and civilization is denser in the plains. So, after they travel from the plateau, desert and the river and plains they stopped their traveling for some times after that they will start the journey for the southern india so i hope you understand what i taught you today read the book and watch the video next day we will start from the exercise thank you